only necessary if you're around people who are like, You! What do you say when you belch? Fortunately, I know some of those, some people like that. Me too. They're, they're called parents. Touche. And don't think you're confusing me with that French. <laughs> Polyfou Francais, amigo. And yes, I'm mixing French with Spanish. Sue me. Wonka Bonka Arigato. <laughs> yes. Wonka Bonka Arigato. I don't know if the mumble caught that part. <laughs> what you doing? Yes. It did. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I heard it. <laughs> Alright. I'm going to attempt to finish this ColecoVision pile off with a good game. This is the last one on my list. It is Sega's Zaxxon. For whatever reason, it felt the need to just say Sega's Zaxxon instead of, instead of Zaxxon. I... I I know that Sega's proud of their product, but come on, just say Zaxxon, we, and then maybe Sega underneath it. It's an idea. Having Sega in front of the Zaxxon is just pretentious. What isn't pretentious, however, is the game itself. I've played Zaxxon on, on uh, numerous consoles, and <sighs> I love this game. Why? Why hasn't Sega even considered bringing this back? Because they're idiots? They might be. I mean, they're, they're probably too busy jerking off to their own Bayonetta creation. That or Sonic. Ugh. They may as well be jerking off to My Little Pony. That's sick. But yeah, we've we've got games like uh, Ace Combat and uh, Top Gun and Ace Combat. Yeah, we need more flight sims. Zaxxon could be one of them. Uh. Just saying. Hell, I wouldn't care if they did an HD collection. Just a new and improved Zaxxon would be nice. Thank you very much, Sega. Maybe Sega could con would could uh, contract the Parallax Software people and make a Zaxxon game based on the on the Descent engine, Descent Free Space. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to be a, have to be an on rails game. Just make make a just make a sp a space game and. Have your, have your ship be a, a space fighter plane. Yep. Although they would probably have to explain what the hell Zaxxon is. That's actually kind of pathetic. Well, for the, for the studio not to have heard of Zaxxon, not Zaxxon itself. You know what I mean. No, I'm confused. <laughs> of course. Don't worry about it, though. Trust me, I confuse myself sometimes with my talking. That's why I don't talk so much. I tend to confuse myself as well. I also yawn a lot. Yay, it retreated and it didn't die. But I didn't die myself, so yay, I suppose. I'll do an unenthusiastic yay.
I remember there was an episode of Home Improvement that was built entirely around this game. Wow. Yeah, uh, the family that the, they went to a bowling alley to uh, to sell some kind of male versus female bet and something like that, and the kids were all playing arcade games, and there was this uh, there was this neighborhood bully that was like that was proud of the fact that he was the king of Zaxxon. Nobody could ever beat his high score, and I guess every time someone tried to beat it, uh, he would take the controls and 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 uh, just enter his own initials in or or show off the game or something. And the kids would somehow handcuff him to the machine and then spray him with silly string. Yeah, if you're that dead set on having a high score, you're there's something wrong with you. But th that was what arcade games were back in the day. It was mostly about bragging rights. Nowadays, we have a, we have achievement points. And I will admit, I am an achievement whore. I I have about sixty-seven thousand achievement points, and I feel somewhat ashamed, but I can't stop because I've already dumped so much money into this console already. And whose fault is that? Uh, I guess it's mine. Also, it's my fault that I don't know how to kill this thing. How do you kill that thing, anyway? A fitting end. Me just crashing into the wall. The, out, the outside wall. There we go. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that was Zaxxon for the ColecoVision. And that is it for my ColecoVision series.